If we want to add an embroidery detail above the shearing, we can add a transparent layer above the shearing detail. We want to create a rectangle that is the same size as the original pattern after it has been shrunk. Add a rectangle that is 16 by 15.84 centimeters. We create edge symmetry and create a copy for the back pattern. Now we do a clone by offset to create the internal lines within the pattern. We can now apply the embroidery stitch on the internal lines. As for the fabric, we clone the original fabric and assign the new fabric to these two pieces. Then we adjust the transparency to 100%. Stitch the edges of the patterns to the shirt's pocket. Stitch the side seam as well. In the styling pane, we lock the front and back pattern to prevent movement when we simulate the new pattern pieces. And next we add the new pattern pieces into the arrange mode. Change the 3D layer to be higher than the sheared pattern and dress the garment. And that's it! The next method is best suited for more complicated shearing and smocking details. For this we need to use normal and displacement maps, as well as the embroidery detail. This is for more visual purposes, and thus we will be adding the effect on the pattern piece that is flat. This is best acquired via scanning the original maps or creating them externally in photo editing software. For example, here we have the embroidery image, the normal map, and displacement map. In vStitcher, we clone the fabric applied to the blouse. Then in the clone fabric, we replace the normal map and the new displacement map. We apply this fabric to the front and back small patterns. Next, we bring the embroidery image in as a fabric and we group it with a new fabric. To adjust the stitch position, we use the texture tool and change the color to whatever we need. This looks good. Since we use the displacement map, we can use the V-Ray Ray Trace Render Preview to view the results. The last method is for curved pattern pieces. For this, we add an image of the smocking detail onto the pattern as an edge assignable trim. Similarly, this is only for visual purposes, so we would only need the final pattern piece after smocking or shearing. We need to edit the size of the artwork to match the height of the pattern and ensure that the image is seamless in the image editor. We can also edit the image size and crop it before importing into vStitcher. If available, we add the normal and displacement maps to the garment. If not available, we can use the auto-generate depth maps option. We can experiment with the normal and displacement maps depth to see which values are most suitable for the results we want to achieve. Let's review the results in the V-Ray Ray Trace Render Preview.